Oh, hi! Normally I'm sitting when I'm filming, so you don't see this much of the shop, but I had to stand because this is taking over my floor. You're goddamn right I'm using a twister mat as my fabric for this week's project <laughs> because upcycling? Let's get right into it, shall we? Motherfuckers! Oh. <laughs> Here's what you need. This round I'm drinking L, which is a double IPA from From the Barrel. Guess which brewery I did my next tour at. If you want to try to save more of your fabric, go check out a really awesome but older Secret Life of a Bio Nerd video. I think she just goes by KL now, where she explains how to do this in four. That's eight four pieces. Also, I will link to the chart that she mentions in that video. You're also going to need a measuring tape and some kind of marking tool. Some scissors. I recommend not using your nice fabric shears. I also recommend using a sewing needle that's kind of on its last legs. This is a matching thread sewing machine. I would recommend clips for this if you have them because pinholes in plastic are a little bit more prominent than they would be in fabric. It's less forgiving. It's weird filming standing up. I feel like I'm just all limbs. So I'm going to be doing a full circle, but you can make it a half or a three-fourth circle skirt if you want. I'm making mine so it'll be high-waisted, but you can use hip measurements if you want. And since I'm cutting this all out in one piece, I don't need to add any seam allowance to the actual skirt piece. When I have done it in fourths before, this is what the pattern looked like, which is a fourth of a circle. I'm not super smart, but I hope that was easy to put together. <laughs> so you're gonna need two measurements. The first one is where that chart is gonna come in, and that will give you the hole in the middle of the circle skirt to put around your waist. The second measurement is gonna be from that first line to where the skirt is going to end, which is just gonna be however long you want the skirt. I wanna use up as much of this twister mat as possible. I'm just gonna go to the edge of the mat. All right, let's draw some circles. Ooh, one quick note before you totally fuck all of your fabric up. Make sure you leave enough to make a waistband with some of the scraps. So I'm going to be placing a pin into this little hole at the end of my measuring tape, which is right at a quarter of an inch. So when you measure everything out from the center, you want to add however much this is taking out. Try and smooth this baby out a little bit. <sighs> Holy shit, you guys, I came up with a great idea. Thanks, beer. If anyone else is an office supply nerd, you probably have some of these little metal brads hanging out. So if you're going through plastic, just shove this fucker through the top and then spread it out underneath the fabric. Hell yeah. And now I can hold the tape straight and mark the measurement. So this is the waist circle. So I gotta fit this around my beer cut. Now for your length, you start measuring here as far as you wanna go out. Like I said, I'm going to the edge of the fabric. It's about 27 inches. It would also be quicker to fold this in fourths and just do a quarter of this. Also, I never realized how unevenly twister tarps were cut. Get your game up, Milton Bradley. Now seems good a time as any to play with some sharp implements. Let's cut along those lines, huh? So circle has been cut out. One thing you definitely need for this project that I completely fucking forgot is a zipper. Zipper's important. You definitely need a zipper. Because at least for me, that shit unzipped ain't fitting over this giant ass of mine. <laughs> now that circle skirt shape has been cut out, it's time to make the waistband. Use whatever scrap material you want. There's no one else here. I don't know who I'm laughing at. I'm just using the plain white edges from the twister mat for my waistband, but obviously go ahead and use whatever material you want. So to measure the waistband, you need to measure your waist. As previously stated, mine is 31. We're going to call it 32 because much like seam allowance, I need to add in some beer allowance to things. I'm just using the white border for my twister mat. I have it folded in half. I'm gonna do like two inches. I don't want a really thick waistband. I'm gonna take my waist measurement, half that, add half an inch seam allowance. <laughs> now I have a nice long band. I'm gonna fold it in half this way. Normally I would iron this down, but that's not gonna end well for this. Here's the point you have to decide where you want your back seam to be. I'm just gonna draw a line straight down between two of the colors. So now, fingers crossed, the edge of your waistband should match the edge of the inner circle of your skirt. Pin or clip those together and use a lot because you're gonna be going around a lot of curves and you wanna make sure it is secure. Then I'm gonna attach everything with a zigzag stitch just for extra security purposes. Everything should be flush waistband in the edge of each side. So we're going to fold that over about half an inch and then we're going to install our zipper by laying 
each side along the little folded edge. It's the same thing on this side. Super is installed. Let's not look at the stitching. You can't really hide your mistakes in plastic, but it zips. That's the important part. Now for the bottom, I'm gonna flip this inside out, and then from the bottom of the zipper here, the little metal bits, I'm gonna fold the rest of this over so it's right sides together so that everything's meeting edge to edge, nice and neat, and then stitching where you cut closed again, which seems counterintuitive. And that's it for stitching. Now, because I didn't do this earlier when I was already cutting things out, I'm gonna clean up the bottom edge to get all the Sharpie marks off. The super plus side of using plastic is you don't have to fucking hem anything because that shit's not gonna fray. Certainly have made less useful things. Wow. What kind of Katy Perry hellscape did I just come out of? Here's what you need. Maybe not.